So, you have the name of the company, you have the team, you even have the t-shirt to go with it. Now you have to ask yourself, what programming language do you use to build the website? This can be a heated debate, but I have built applications for several years, so it should be very easy. Yet it is not. Everyone new to the world of programming asks the same question. What is the best programming language? My answer is always the same. None. They are all the same. But no one is ever satisfied. So I'll tell you the things I consider before starting a new project. Number one, I don't want to think. When I have an idea, I don't want to think about how it is done in a particular language. I just want to do it. For example, if my program consisted of finding the cast of a movie, I don't want to think about the network protocols, I just want to know where the data is and get it. I don't have to follow a tutorial or deal with some obscure programming language error. Number two, don't make me wait. Computers are so fast, and as a programmer, you get to appreciate it when you create an infinite loop by mistake. It may run millions of times per second. If you are sitting in front of a computer and waiting for it to do something, something might have gone wrong already. So I don't want to wait for a compilation or anything of the sort. I don't want to wait 10 seconds every time I make changes. I'll be making 10,000 changes in the lifetime of this application, and that time adds up. When I write something, I want the computer to run and show me the result, period. This narrows it down to very few programming options. Number three, most if not all errors should be documented. I only Google stuff when I get very obscure errors that don't make any sense. The ideal programming language will have these errors nicely documented all over the web. This is one of the reasons I like to stick with older language where the developer communities had ample time to watch it fail over time and document each failure. Okay, these are my three main criteria to choose a programming language. So which language satisfy all three? Well, that's easy. It's PHP. There is a reason PHP is the most popular language, or was at least. Most developers today would rather choose something else, something newer or that sounds sexier. But I'm not expecting a lap dance from my programming tools. All I want is for them to step out of the way and let me make the computer do what I want with as little friction as possible. However, I had said all programming languages are the same, right? So let me explain that by adding a fourth criterion to the list. Number four. Be familiar with the programming language you choose. It doesn't matter how awesome the language you choose is. If you have to Google every single line of code before you write it, you will not be taking advantage of it. When I use PHP, I don't have to think. I have used it long enough that I know the ins and outs well enough to not even require an internet connection to build my application. The same will go for a programmer familiar with .NET, Ruby, or any language for that matter. So, at Renly, can you guess which programming language we chose? Yes, that's correct. We chose .NET C Sharp. <laughs> no, I was not excited about that choice either, but programming in a team is compromising. We are three programmers at Renly. That's two .NET developers and I am the PHP guy. The other members had spent the majority of their time building the bulk of the application while I was only working part-time at Renly. I couldn't force them to learn a new environment while I only contributed partially. Was it hard to learn .NET for me? Yes, but it was not impossible. I have been programming since I can remember. Moving from one language to the next was something I did every single day at my last job. So now I program in .NET. This brings me back to the same answer in the beginning. It doesn't matter, all programming languages are the same. If you stick with any language long enough, it will turn into your new familiar programming language.